it's happened every two years. I get the question. And the question comes either from a new office assistant or a new technology assistant. People that I hire and who I basically put through the fucking ringer when they start working for me. And the question that I got today, much like the technology assistant before her and the technology assistant before her, the question I got this morning was, do you hate me? Now, <clears throat> I went on ahead because I knew what the answer was going to be. After all, I was the one giving the fucking answer. But I looked at her and I said, do you believe hate has something to do with it? She thought about it and I said, okay, I don't hate you. I'm hard on you and I'm hard on you for one reason. So let me answer your question by asking you some questions. And then I went on. How many people that look like us are in the technology field? I, I asked. The answer was not that many. I said, okay, now, how many people are in the technology field who are of color but who are women? Long pause. And then she answered, not that many said exactly see when you actually leave from here and you move on and and and, and everything else you're either going to get two reactions you're going to get either people who are going to be hard on you but only because they want to get you the fuck out of there or people who are going to be soft on you because they're waiting for you to fuck up and when you fuck up you're out of there i'm having it to where I don't want you to fuck up and be out of some place. And I need and want to toughen you up. That was the end of that answer. You see, I don't make victims and I don't make casualties. I make successes. I have two former technology assistants who actually have surpassed me in this field in a lot of ways in terms of their uh, in terms of their accreditations and, and where they are working in law firms. One is a network engineer. The other one is an admin, server admin. I'm not going to get into all that tech garb garbage for you guys. Okay. The other two before those people, actually one is actually in business for himself. And the other manages an IT department. I'm only bringing this up because when you are going to mentor people, especially young people who fall into the categories of, you know, people of color, women, what have you, it's good to give them the opportunity, but you really got to prepare them as well for the workplace, especially for those who don't want you there. So I just thought I'd bring that up. There has to be many of us out there who are teachers and we have to continue on with that kind of work. And I just thought I'd share that little story now that I'm sitting here and having lunch. All right. This was the Garage Autonomist.